everybody, it's Tracy. I am here with the new owner of Idyll Forest here in La Follette. And for those of you that are our lake people, that is in downtown La Follette, uh, across the street from Biltwell Bank and between Tennessee and Indiana Avenue. So Lynn is the new owner and new creator of what you have here. Um, Lynn McGee, he is an OG, he's an original from La Follette, has moved away and been hugely and wildly successful in Florida in the event spaces and doing huge events and visuals for those events and is now back in the capacity as the owner, operator, um, and a partner with his sister Leanne who's not here. But Lynn is the creative director, I guess we call it, here at Florida right. Florist. So, um, I said you were from here. Uh, you attended Campbell County High School. Yes. Is that correct? Graduated in 79. In 79. So, that's the thing about small town. Everybody knows how old you are. You can say, I get the Botox, I get the chemical pills, but somebody's got a cousin or a brother right. that's the same age. I'm going to make you do the math. Huh? <laughs> yeah, don't tell me how old you are. So traditionally, Ideal Forest has been uh, your funeral flowers and wedding flowers and walk in and pick up a bouquet to go. Is that pretty much going to be what you're going to do here? It is, but I think what we want to do, we want to add, uh, uh, our new name is Ideal Floral Wedding and Events. So we'll be adding weddings and events, uh, you know, hopefully uh, spreading beauty all through the county. <laughs> That is such a challenge. I would feel like there's so much pressure to do an event. You seem like it's fallen off a log to you because you've done it so much. Just the planning and knowing what to do overwhelms me. I know it overwhelms a lot of brides. Um, but like having a wedding planner, I think a lot of us think that that's unattainable for our budget. How does that really work? Well, that, that's not true. I, and I think everyone uh, needs a planner. Uh, I think it takes a lot of uh, the pressure off of your plate. Uh, but what we like to do here is, we like to think our, of ourselves as being a one-stop shop. You can come to me and get your flowers, uh, your draping if need be, your lighting, your linens, chairs, everything. And so draping, for those of us that aren't used to that phrase, that's when you have something really ugly and you need to cover it with like fabric or shears not really ugly, but I just right. remember what you did with your niece's wedding. You took the ball form, which is a metal building. It's not ugly, it's just mm -hmm. utilitarian. Right. And you made it an elegant space. Well, what draping does, it allows you to draw the eye to where you want. Okay. So, you know, it just becomes a focal point and, you know, the rest just seems to disappear. Yeah. Um, so, but you guys do the floral design, everything. the floral everything. Okay. That's very good. Now, the next question is, uh, and we were just talking about this, you got prom coming up, you've got uh, Mother's Day coming up, you've got all this, how far in advance, to get what you really want, how far in advance do people need to call to get what they really want? Well, I mean, obviously the earlier the better, uh, at least uh, 14 days out, right. I think, you know, so yeah. that allows me uh, to design something for you um, knowing that I can get it. But now if I end up in a pickle, I can come in and you'll probably have something you can do. Absolutely, absolutely. We can do it, we can do it on the spot. Okay, ooh, great, okay. Another question I wanted to ask you was about weddings. That is a stressful time. Like you said, it's so important to have someone that's kind of not involved in the wedding party with their hands in this, but uh, what do you see for the trends for weddings? You know, let me tell you, when I got married in the 80s, my bridesmaids carried a wicker basket with African violets and, and English ivy, because it was, that was what everybody did. Then we saw the, the cluster bouquets where everything was the same and, and it was all, what's the trend now? What are people doing now? I'm finding the trend now is uh, everyone uh, seems to want to go back to the basics where everything just looks uh, fresh and spring cut, you know, nothing contrived or, you know, um, I don't know. Not what super, like, formal and right. designed. Right, Something more gathered. Yeah, something more free and... Uh, I 
saw it on uh, TikTok or Pinterest or somewhere I waste my time. A lot of the flower arrangements just look almost like you could have gone outside and cut them. Exactly. Not as smooth and sculptured right. or as formal. Right. As that, as. I'm seeing that as, as the new trend this year. What colors? What colors um, are you seeing? I'm looking at a lot of neutrals. You know, they tend to go with everything with just, you know, a few pops of color. Uh, of course, you know, in the spring, everybody wants, you know, the spring color. So uh, it's basically, you know, what you like. And in the fall, you get more of the rust and the, the browns and the golds. And in the spring, more spring colors. Right. And of course, in winter, you're going to get the, the others. Right. Okay. Another question about. Um, about florals and about weddings. Um, what's with a big mirror these days? What are people doing for a big mirror? Is it still just like a piece of eucalyptus and a little rosebud, or do have they gone away from that? Do people not do big mirrors anymore? No, big mirrors are still you know pretty popular. But you know what we like to do is uh, we like to uh, create something special. Uh, that's just pulled from the bridal bouquet. Okay, so just mirror that. Right. right. You know, a little something you know that that matches. I love live plants, and in my house, it looks almost like we're receiving friends in my living room. But what do you see with live? Is there a benefit to live flowers, or is there a benefit to a plant, or is it just preference? I love an inch garden. No. I never saw an inch garden. I didn't right. love it. No, uh, um, the live plants are very popular. Uh, you know, we've sold quite a few, and again, that's something that, you know, uh, can be referred to as a keepsake. Well, that's right. You know, it's yeah. something that you can take home and plant, and, uh, you know, it's just a, a lovely reminder of, yeah. you know, of things of the past. Yeah. You know, coming in to back to your hometown and coming into downtown with all it, which we see a lot of businesses that aren't out here. But we have our staples like Smith's Hardware, which is now Ace Hardware, Lindsay's Carpet, people that have made the test of time and been here and succeeded. How did that factor into you coming back into downtown La Follett instead of going to a different location for your business? Well, I always knew that I would come back uh, and, uh, you know, with everything that I've learned, <laughs> Uh, and all the skills that I've obtained, I just wanted to bring it back home. Well, we're in regards to this. It's so good to have this kind of improvement in downtown and to have a business mm -hmm. open. And I know the previous owner was ready to retire and hang up her scissors and go and go home. And so for somebody new with a new uh, perspective to come in, right. how lucky we are. We, are, we did want to honor her. You know, she had been in business for about 35 years. Wow. So we kept the, you know, the ideal, you know, yeah. uh, just to honor her. So. Oh, isn't that great? Yeah. And, oh, and you're so lucky to be here, right here in downtown LaFayette. Now, like I said, we're on Tennessee Avenue, and we're between, I mean, we're on uh, East Central, but we're between Tennessee and Indiana. So pretty easy to find next yeah. to the Historical Society. And right next to Birch Screen Printing. Yeah. One, one thing I did want to ask you was about gift items. I see that you've got some, I see angels in there and some uh, different little things to go with flowers or instead of flowers. So are you going to carry a lot of gifts? Absolutely. And uh, we like to refer to them as add-ons. Oh. Okay. So, you know, once you get, you know, your flowers, uh, you can add on, you know, uh, uh, some chocolate you can add on. Uh, a lot of times when we do the funerals, uh, we will incorporate what we call keepsakes. So, you know, once the funeral's over, you know, you'll be able to have that keepsake and, and keep it. Oh, neat. Uh, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's wonderful. And we're building the inventory all the time, so. Okay, so you know, new things all the time. Yeah, and things will, will change. So, you know, you'll want to come in as often as you want. Well, it's so beautiful in here. Right. It's so bright. The, you need to stop in if you haven't been in and see he's done beautiful flooring and it's so bright in here and uh, just a whole different look, just a updated modern look where it was more traditional before. Right. It's just updated. Yeah, we just freshened it up a little. Yeah, there you, know. you go. And for those uh, that know, uh, Sam, who was a designer for us, I don't know what you would call yeah. Sam, yeah. Um, he's here, so um, if you're used to calling Sam and he knows what you want, 
You can Absolutely. Still do that. Ask for him. We'll get him on the phone. <laughs> uh, we've been very blessed uh, to have Sam, you know, stay on with us and Sharon as well. So, oh, good. you know, for all of y'all that know them, you know, they're here. Well, and that makes it so much easier when, when you've got a friendly face. Thank you so much for taking the time to talk to me and telling us about the florist, and we can't wait to see what you do. Well, thank you so much for coming and spreading the word. I'm so excited. We are too. <laughs>